Jessica Carlos Irzata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're making cabbage rolls, but vegetarian, without any meat or dairy whatsoever. In Greek, they're known as lachanodolmades. They're made with cabbage, rice, herbs, and a little bit of lemon, which is going to freshen them up and make them super refreshing and delicious. They're perfect served as a main course because they're hearty and nutritious, and they taste even better the next day. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with a head of cabbage. I like to use green cabbage for this. Just go ahead and peel off just the external first layer. And then you're gonna carefully cut the core out. Just like that, the core is out. So bring a pot of water to a boil and then add some salt and carefully put the head of cabbage in there. Put, try to get it side down like this, the core side down. And then I'm gonna cover this and let it boil for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and the outer layer should start coming off and they should be nice and soft. Keep pe carefully peeling the outer layers off and take them out and put them in a drainer or strainer so that way they can drain and become uh, room temperature. That way they're gonna be easy to roll up and wrap. So while the cabbage is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and finally chop an onion. This is gonna be for the filling. So add the onion to a frying pan. Season it with just a little pinch of salt. And about a quarter cup of olive oil. And we're gonna let this cook over medium heat until it's nice and soft and golden. That should take about eight minutes or so. In the meantime, we're gonna finally grate three garlic cloves. The garlic is ready. Now I'm gonna finally chop parsley. You're gonna need lots of herbs for this because that's where all of the flavor is gonna come from. So you wanna get the parsley on the side. If you have some fresh mint, one to two tablespoons of finely chopped mint will be really nice in here. I don't have any, all of the mint in our garden is now pretty much dried out because of the cold and I didn't get any from my supermarket so I'm just leaving parsley in it and I'm also gonna put some dried dill. I'm gonna clean this area up while the onion and the cabbage is cooking. So the onions are ready, now I'm gonna add the grated garlic. We're just gonna warm it through. And that's it, that's all it needs. It just needs a few seconds. Take it off of the heat so that way it doesn't burn. Now in this bowl of, over here, I have two cups of basmati rice that all I did was I ran it under uh, water until the water ran clear. I just basically rinsed the water out four or five times and then I let it soak for 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna drain this water out. And you just wanna make sure you get rid of that water. We're gonna put the rice in this bigger bowl so that way everything mixes well all together. Now I'm using basmati rice because that's what I use in my cooking most of the time. But use whatever rice you love and whatever rice you have. The cooking time is gonna vary depending on the rice that you use, but we'll go over that when we get to it. Now to the rice, I'm gonna add the onion and the garlic. I'm also gonna season it with two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna add two teaspoons of dried dill. If you have fresh dill, go ahead and use fresh dill. I'm gonna add some black pepper. And the parsley, the fresh parsley. Now scallions are really nice in this too. Like I said, mint is also really good. If you like basil, you can finally chop some basil and put it in here as well. Even some dried oregano if you wanna put a little teaspoon in here, that will work too. 
Just mix everything all together. I'm gonna switch to a spatula. Now, I'm gonna need some lemon juice for later on, but I also like to put a little bit of lemon juice in the filling. So I'm just gonna add a couple teaspoons in here of the lemon juice. By couple, I mean three. <laughs> And then the rest we're going to save for later on, mix it all up. And that's it. The filling is literally this simple. Now you can switch it up or add to it. So you can add some uh, finely chopped sauteed mushrooms to this. You could add some diced tomatoes. You can do some pine nuts and raisins if you want a little bit of sweetness. You can chop up some vegetables and put them in here like zucchini and eggplant are really nice. Bell peppers are also really nice. Roasted red peppers would be very nice in this, but I like to keep this a little bit on the simple side. So I'm leaving it as is, but I give you options. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out some of these leaves and we're gonna start filling. It's really simple. If you've made grape leaves or if you've made cabbage rolls before, then this is gonna be super simple. Even if you haven't done it, it really is very easy. So you wanna take a heaping uh, tablespoon of the filling and put it on the bottom where the stem is, and then you're just gonna roll up. Now keep in mind, you want them to be fairly tight, but not too tight because they are gonna, the rice is gonna expand during cooking. So each time you fill one, put it on the side, and we're just gonna keep going. Okay, so I'm gonna continue filling these. If you have some small ones, then obviously put a little bit less, or you can double them up to make them bigger. It's up to you. I'm gonna continue filling these, and then we're gonna layer them in the pot, and it's gonna all come together in no time. So once they're all rolled up, you wanna layer them in the pot. Any um, torn up or extra leaves that you have, cabbage leaves that you have, you wanna layer them on the bottom, and then put all of the rolls tightly in, in the pot like we just did. And now we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. A little bit, a little bit or a lot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna season with some salt. And I have two cups of water. Now this part is very important. You wanna take two plates and just weigh the cabbage leaves down. This is gonna help them stay together so they don't open up and all the filling comes out during the cooking time. We're gonna, we're gonna cover this first and I'm gonna bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to a medium low, and I'm gonna let them cook for about 45 minutes to an hour, or until the rice inside is nice and tender. Once that happens, we're gonna finish it off with the lemon sauce, and they're gonna be ready to serve. So the cabbage rolls were ready in an hour, and I did go in and add two more cups of water. You wanna start off with at least four cups of broth, not, not, the, not the two cups that we started off with, because all that rice that's in there tends to absorb the liquid, and you do want there to be some broth in there, so that way there's a nice sauce that's gonna go along with the cabbage rolls. So make sure that you add water if it absorbs too fast. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a heaping teaspoon of cornstarch to a bowl, and I'm also gonna add the lemon juice. You can start with a quarter cup of lemon juice and make it as lemony as you want. I like to go up to a third of a cup and sometimes even a little bit more, but that might be much for some people. So start slow, whisk it all together until it's nice and smooth. And if you want a little more richness, you could add two or three egg yolks to this mixture if you wanted to. If you're adding the egg yolks, you're gonna to wanna to take some of that warm broth and temper the liquid before you add it to it. But since we don't have egg yolks in here, I'm gonna pour the liquid into the pot and you don't wanna stir it because if you try to stir it, the, the cabbage rolls are gonna fall apart. Just carefully take the pot and give it a nice shake so that way all of that lemon mixture can distribute throughout the pot. Let it cook over medium heat for about three or four minutes so that way the sauce begins to thicken a little bit and then it's ready to serve. However, I do suggest that you let it sit off of the heat for a good hour so that way all of the flavors can meld and absorb and it's just gonna be extra delicious. This tastes 
fantastic the next day as well. So make sure you make a bigger batch. If you prefer tomato sauce with this, I did do a tomato based uh, version of cabbage rolls and I'll put the link down below so that way you can use that sauce instead of the lemony sauce. It's totally up to you. And you could even bake them in the oven like I did in that video. So I will leave that up to you and you let me know in the comments section which way you went with how you made it, lemony or tomato. I'm gonna let these cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna dig in. And now the best part of doing these videos is the taste test, but before we do that, I wanna tell you how you can serve this. You can serve this with some toasted bread and a nice salad. Really, that's all you need because you have your vegetable in here, you have your herbs, and then you have your starch. Some lemon wedges on the side would be great. Some toasted bread and some salad really is all you need. And a nice smile, of course. You always wanna serve your family food with a smile so that way they know that you cooked uh, with love, you cooked from the heart. It is time to take a bite, and when you cut into it, it should be really tender. That's how you know that it's good. And the longer it sits in the pot, the more tender it's gonna get. This is comfort food for me. Mmm. Refreshing, hearty, delicious, has so much flavor. For me, it's the perfect amount of lemon juice. I went a little bit over a quarter cup, but again, start with a quarter and you could always add more. You can't ever take it out. The rice is perfectly, perfectly cooked. The sauce is nice and light and refreshing. You guys are gonna love this. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for spending time with me today. And if you wanna get the printed version of this, it's on the website, demetriusdishes.com. All of the exact measurements are in the description box. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you all next time. Yes, us.